Um, a label states uh, that a five gram quantity of an antibiotic in a bottle that should be reconstituted with 8.7 mLs of saline bore injection. The resulting concentration will be 500 milligrams per, five, per, per mL. What is the powder volume contained in the bottle? This is one of the simpler of these problems. Yes? Yeah, I agree. All right. Now, uh, let's draw this out. And let me write out these, um, these steps. The first thing you're going to do, as usual, is read the problem, right? Second thing you're going to do is what? Pull out, Pull out, out. Pull out your information. The third thing you're going to do is label a drawing. Okay, since this is up here already, okay, so I have uh, my drawing here. This is going to be my powder volume. This is where you're going to start always with these. And this is your diluent volume. And this is your total volume. All right, now, can you take this right here, this problem, and apply it to this drawing here? I mean, the, the 8.7 goes to the diluent, right? Okay, the 8.7 is the diluent. Okay, I got, we see five grams up there. Five gram quantity of an antibiotic. What, what is that? The powder volume? It's not the powder volume, it's the powder weight. Yeah. Okay, and that's the harder problem about this. So this is five grams. The five gram weight goes here. The volume that weight, that the amount of space that that weight hold, uh, takes up goes out here. And that's what we're actually looking for, right? Mm -hmm. So do you, do you use that with the concentration to find the, the total volume? Okay, so what's our concentration of the product here? 500 so I'm going to put that up here. 500 milligrams per one ml. All right. Do you see any other uh, pieces of information we need to pull out of that? We could say this is the saline. This is saline here. And this is the rug powder. Okay, now the way you're going to do these problems, you're going to draw your labeling and label. You're going to identify your final or final concentration, which is 500 milligrams per one ml. And you're going to set that equal to the amount of drug that you have in this container. And you're going to figure out what's actually in that container. Any problem with it? Okay, which one do you want to change? Do you want to change the 500 milligrams to grams, or do you want to change the 500 five grams to five grams? So we'll change the five grams. We'll take five grams, and we'll change it to 5,000 milligrams. <coughs> so this is the amount of drug that's in one ml in this container. We're trying to find out how much liquid is in the whole container containing this entire amount of drug. Do you see that? The entire amount of drug is here. This is the concentration of one small little portion. But if we stretch that out, we can figure out how much total volume or total amount is in the container. So somebody go ahead and punch that for me. 10. 10? 10 mLs. So this is the total volume. Calculate your total volume. And the way you calculate your total volume is what? You subtract the final volume. PV plus BV. The way you calculate your total volume is you set your Concentration equal to your total amount of drug, the powder volume, the, the powder amount down here. Okay, so this is the 10 mLs here. You're going to subtract that from the 10 uh, minus 8.7, and you end up on 1.3. 1 1 and this is the powder volume. 
because we know that the DU of I input to power of I is equal to the power of I. 